Hello everybody. Um, now this is not going to be my usual video. This is not going to be on the usual topics I do. Usually I do uh, videos about video games, video games consoles, um, finding them on eBay, garage sales, cleaning. But today, um, I'm wanting to do a video about my feelings about Star Wars. And what, uh, the direction they're heading. Um, because you can tell by my, uh, screen name, Rebel Scum, that I'm a huge Star Wars fan. I've been um, a huge Star Wars fan since I can remember. Now, I was really young, probably, I don't know, eight years old or seven years old when I first saw the first Star Wars movie, which was then just Star Wars. It was just Star Wars. It wasn't A New Hope yet. Then Lucas decided that he was going to uh, make episodes out of them instead. And he changed it to episode 4, A New Hope. That's besides my po uh, the point. Luke Skywalker is the original trilogy. He's the hero, he's the main character. Han Solo is probably the most um, liked character, coolest character. People love Han Solo. Probably, he uh, he is the coolest character, you know. But Luke Skywalker is the hero of the original trilogy. He had the original three, which is Leia. Han and Luke. But Luke, without Luke, the uh, original trilogy just doesn't work. Um, my hero is Luke Skywalker. He is my favorite character of all time. Um, to me, if there was no Luke Skywalker, there'd be no Star Wars. So the prequels came out, um, and it was not a sequel, and there was going to be no Luke Skywalker in them. So, I myself, as a uh, Luke Skywalker fan, you know, I was a little disappointed with the... Uh, the news that the prequel, uh, the Star, uh, Star Wars trilogy back then, the new one, was going to be prequels, and they wouldn't have Luke Skywalker in them. Well, I already knew that uh, Darth Vader was uh, Luke Skywalker's father, that he turned to the dark side, and I already knew that the at the end of Return of the Jedi, he turned back. I really didn't need the prequel. I wanted to know what uh, something else. Okay? But you know what? The prequels are okay with me. Um, I remember seeing the uh, Phantom Menace in the theater. And I remember being a little disappointed with it, but I was looking forward to the trilogy. Next couple of movies. Attack of the Clones was horrible. But it still felt like Star Wars. Revenge of the Sith, the best prequel movie, in my opinion. Now everybody's got their rights to their own opinion, and I've got mine. And I like the um, The Last Jedi. Now it's got some bad, bad acting in it, but you know, I like Then Disney bought Star Wars from George Lucas, and um, 
they, they announced that they were going to make a sequel trilogy and that the, uh, the original three were signed. This is terrific news for Star Wars fans. After 30 years, I was so excited that I was going to get another movie with Luke Skywalker. That was terrific. And new characters. I was looking forward to new characters. The Force Awakens came out. And the entire plot centered around Luke Skywalker finding him. It didn't have Luke Skywalker in it until the very end. And I will tell you, that little bit of acting that Luke, uh, Mark Hamill did as Luke Skywalker at, at the end of uh, The Force Awakens was awesome. So, I was somewhat disappointed with The Force Awakens that I didn't get to see Luke Skywalker. But hey, I was happy. Luke Skywalker was found, and the next movie, Luke Skywalker would be in it. He would be helping Ray. And all this. Now, Ray, she had no struggles whatsoever. Everything was easy for her. She practically pulled the Jedi mind trick out of a hat. Nobody taught her. She just did it. Where in the movie did Ray find out about the Jedi mind trick? Okay. There was a lot of fans upset about how easy things were for Ray. And you know what? I was a uh, I was thinking that in the last Jedi, Ray would have a lot of uh, troubles and trife. So, you know, I was, in my mind, that's where her troubles were going to be. So, I was sort of okay with Ray being uh, the way she was in the Last Jedi uh, in uh, the Force Awakens. So I was figuring, Last Jedi, we would find out, or maybe be hinted at, why. Ray was so powerful. And that she would have some struggles. Right? And then when I went to see The Last Jedi. You know, watching The Last Jedi for the first time, and I saw it by myself because my family, my son was still in school, he's nine years old, and my wife really doesn't care for Star Wars, so it was just a me time. And let me tell you, after watching The Last Jedi, driving back home, I can't just my feelings on it of how just angry depressed and just bewildered I guess I I honestly didn't know how to process all of it before The Last Jedi came out, you know, he he was talking about how he discussed with Ryan Johnson about how he disagreed with everything Ryan Johnson had written about his character. And boy, do I ever agree with Mark Hamill. Skywalker, the character from the original trilogy is not represented at all in The Last Jedi. Um, supposedly the backstory was that uh, Luke had had a um, suspicion about his uh, 
nephew and uh, went to confront him, was overwhelmed and almost killed his nephew. But then he uh, got to his senses, but it was too late. And uh, his Jedi Temple was destroyed, or his Jedi Academy, or whatever it is. And that Luke Skywalker went into hiding, waiting to die. While the rest of the uh, galaxy was falling to the uh, First Order. Uh, uh, does that sound like Luke Skywalker to you? No. You, you were to tell me that this was the Luke Skywalker that uh, left Yoda on Dagobah to run in to help Han Solo and Leia? You going to tell me that? You going to tell me that this was the same Luke Skywalker that uh, stood up to the Emperor in the Return of the Jedi and said that uh, there was still good in his father? You're going to tell me this is the same Luke Skywalker that bust into uh, Leia's uh, cell and said, I'm Luke Skywalker, I'm here to rescue you? No. No way. Now, I would have been fine. I would have been just fine with uh, Luke Skywalker uh, dying in The Last Jedi. I would have been fine with that. Okay? Whatever. But the way they did it, the way they disrespected Luke Skywalker's uh, character is unforgivable. Unforgivable. And that was it is the crux of of uh, why I really dislike the Last Jedi. The crux of it. Now this whole sequence with uh, Canto Bite, this PC stuff about oh we've got to save these uh, poor animals. You know, lots of people have made the arguments that that doesn't uh, belong in a Star Wars movie. And I agree with them. You know. I'm not going to a Star Wars movie to be lectured about, um, you know, just, just PC stuff. I'm going to a Star Wars movie to see Luke Skywalker. Okay. But even if the candle bite was uh, still in there and they got Luke Skywalker right, I would have been fine with The Last Jedi. But candle bite still sucks. Holdo, that is a joke of a character. I don't know what, uh, you know, there's some kind of agenda that they're pushing. And I'm not going to get into that because I don't want to get into politics. You know what? If that would have been in there and that would have got Luke Skywalker right, I would have been fine. Just get Luke Skywalker right. Leia floating through space. I would have been fine with it. Just get Luke Skywalker right. Okay. So, here's what I believe has been, been happening since The Last Jedi come out. Lucasfilm and Mark Hamill, they have basically gotten into a spat. Lucasfilm didn't like how Mark Hamill uh, discussed how he didn't like the treatment of uh, his character and they have basically just written Mark Hamill's character Lou Skywalker out. I believe
believe the plan was initially was for him to be a, a force coach. I really do. Because how can you not have Luke Skywalker in uh, the Skywalker saga? And I believe that was the plan. But you see his interviews lately, he's begging for people to put in a good word for him. And that he hasn't heard anything from uh, Lucasfilm. So you know what that tells me? That tells me that he's not going to be in Episode 9. That his Force Ghost, nope, they're not going to do it. There's been rumors about Yoda. But not Luke Skywalker. Why? Because Luke is film. They've had their feelings hurt. And they think that they can move on without more him. Well, I can tell you one thing. That uh, if there's no uh, Mark Hamill, no Luke Skywalker in Episode 9, which I don't believe there will be, I don't care to see it. I don't care to see it. Ray is uh, not a good character. Uh, basically, everything has been given to Ray. She hasn't earned anything. Um, Finn, honestly, when I was watching The Last Jedi, and he was about to crash into that um, First Order cannon or whatever it was, when he was going to sacrifice himself, I was thinking to myself, oh, this would be a great moment. You know? This would go down in history. It's one of the better scenes in the uh, sequel trilogy. <laughs> no. Rose Dog. Because of love. Okay. Whatever. Whatever. I don't like uh, Finn. I, I, I did like Finn when, at, at first because he was a stormtrooper and he um, turned to the um, resistance reluctantly but he came around in the Force Awakens but he was right back where he was started from in The Last Jedi he was bailing out again So when he was about to kill himself and, and to uh, stop the First Order, <laughs> I was happy about it. And Poe Dameron? Poe's an interesting uh, character. Until he got ripped down in The Last Jedi. But anyway. None of them. None of them hold a candle to the character of Luke Skywalker. They don't hold a can candle to Han Solo, and they don't hold a candle to Princess Leia. No. So this uh, Lucas's film, uh, Lucas Films, plan to phase out the old trilogy characters and bring forth their wonderful new characters they, they can just have it I don't want it anymore <laughs> I don't disrespect Luke Skywalker and uh, I'm out this new Han Solo movie you know I know a lot of Han Solo fans real Han Solo fans but they don't want this movie but because I love Luke Skywalker so much and after what they have done to Luke Skywalker and Lucasfilm have done to Mark Hamill I'm not at all interested in going to see Han Solo I was planning on uh, going to see it uh, 
reluctantly kind of because I wasn't looking forward to it all that much but I would have went, uh, went to see it you handle Luke Skywalker's character right and I go see it but uh, we have got to uh, send Lucasfilm a message I don't believe it's Disney because guess what Disney owns the rights to Marvel and look what Marvel is doing Marvel listens to fans Marvel is, is doing it right I believe it wholeheartedly that it's Lucasfilm now is it uh, just Kathleen Kennedy I don't know I will tell you this Kathleen Kennedy is a big part of it. a big part but uh, guys I know that um, usually I do video games and stuff but you know this is something that uh, has been bothering me for a long while and it's gotten worse and worse and you know I just had to get it off my chest. Um, thank you for watching if you've watched all of it. And if you'll notice, uh, my logo has changed. It used to be the um, red, uh, red uh, Rebel Alliance logo, but I've changed it to black. Because that's how I feel. That uh, the new Star Wars movies, Lucasfilm is just not not listening to the fans, and they want to make their own creative mark, and they they are acting like they just don't care. They don't care, and Lucasfilm, the company was built on the fans it was built on their money because the fans are what finance it and if they don't care about um, catering to fans have been with them forever then they're not getting my money It's like the, um, like a rock band, say, um, I don't know, Guns N' Roses. Let's say that they just come up with a country music album. <laughs> because that's how they feel. That's what they want to do. Well, great for them. But you know what? People listen to Guns N' Roses for Guns N' Roses type music. I hope you enjoyed this and the camera's been moving. I've just been talking. See ya.